Shalom Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shimei Aoshai. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. And Shalom to Lek out there doing this work of faith and labor of love and truth and sincerity. All right, I wanted to come with a uh, real brief topic. You know, I'm um, pretty much land backing off of <clears throat> uh, land backing off of a point in which uh, the brother Pasha from the DC camp made in his uh, latest installment of uh, traveling unraveling. And the statement that he had made toward the end was, um, uh, "Don't feed the spirit. Uh, don't feed uh, the demons. Don't feed the demons." Okay, and you know, just based upon that, um, this scripture had came to mind. Um, cause I, you know, I had to watch the, I watched the lesson over, you know, a couple of times and it was a, a, a beautiful lesson in general that the brother had did, um, Salakia, see, um, yeah, this, uh, the book of us, rock 37 and 27, it says, my son, prove thy soul and thy life and see what is evil for it and give not that unto it. Right. So we supposed to know, um, uh, Prove our souls in this life and see what is evil for it, man. And don't give ourselves over unto those evil things. You know, that basically goes into us examining ourselves, us knowing ourselves, you know, what's conducive to our spirits and our spiritual growth within this thing. And the things or the activities that we could possibly get into, you know, that may plague us or that could be detrimental to our spiritual uh, uh, health within this thing, man. Or hindering us in any type, way, shape, level, form or fashion. You're supposed to try to put those things from off you, you know, like a key example, you know, with women, you know, brothers coming into the truth or whatever the case may be, you know, you may have a, a, a spirit of, uh, you know, being a, a, a sucker for love, so to speak, man, doing anything to please your woman. Well, coming into this truth and you know, you still had that about you, you know, a woman could easily cause you to stumble if you don't check that. So if you know that you had that type of spirit, upon you then coming into the truth what would be the best thing for you to do you focus upon these scriptures focus upon your spiritual growth and you pray to your how about you know to to um to make you strong to make you an alpha male so that when it in time appointed if your how about you know wanted to uh you know give you a woman that you can deal with that woman accordingly and still put the law first you know because if you just jump straight into dealing with another woman you know and you know that you have that weakness now what? She's going to eventually cause you to stray slowly but surely. And you're not going to be able to do the things that you need uh, in the spirit for yourself, man. You know, we have to be, you know, the scriptures say uh, that there is one that is wise and teach, teacheth many, but yet is unprofitable to himself. So first and foremost, we have to always, you know, making sure that we're good, that we're in good standing, we're in the right spirit and doing the things for ourselves first and foremost before anybody else, man. You know, and also uh, when you go into uh, Proverbs 22, uh, the scriptures say, uh, well, 22 and 3, they say uh, a wise man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, you know. So us being wise men of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah, we see the evils and things that are to come at hand. So what are we doing? We're hiding ourselves underneath the shadow of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. So you have to take that same approach with your life and with the activities that you may deal with or the things that may plague you and the things that are better for you. You have to know that fine balance, man. You know, so you have to know how to hide yourself from yourself in certain instances and your ways of life, man. You know, because every brother got something, you know, that's uh, that can possibly hinder them, whether it be woman, whether it be music, whether it could be uh, a damn club demon, uh, whatever demon there is. There's so many demons out there. Every brother has problems with something, you know. But whatever it is, don't give yourself over unto that, man. You know, because for instance, right, you could take it on a on an actual uh, a health tip. Now, somebody that's dealing with cancer, cancer's favorite food is sugar. Okay, so now if you know you got cancer, would you uh, keep ingesting heavy amounts of sugar, sweets, and cookies and things of that nature? No, because that wouldn't be wise. If you foresee the evil. That if you keep indulging in the sugar, you're going to keep feeding the cancer. Why would you give yourself over unto that when you know that's evil for your spirit? That's evil for your health. That's bad for your health. Okay? But what if you have the cancer and you know that you need to stay away from sugar, being a wise man and foreseeing the evil, if you continue to ingest that sugar, you would put that off, 
And you would do what? You would eat the greens and you would do things that is conducive unto your physical body, you know, and alkalize your body so that you could be better in the long run. And Lord willing, the Lord can help you overcome that ailment. So it's the same exact way when we apply that exactly to the spirit, man. See what is um, not right for your spirit. Don't give yourself a run to it. Whatever it is, put it off. You know what I'm saying? And, and pray unto your how by Shemiah Shai first and foremost to, in, to increase your strength, you know, to increase your faith more and for you to endure more. And for them uh, demons, them demonic spirits, not to jump upon you and to take hold over your spirit, man. You know, so I just wanted to get into that real a brief lesson, you know, about not feeding the demons, man. Don't feed the demons, you know, because we have a lot of different obstacles out here that are constantly trying to get us entangled and wrapped up back in the ways of the world. So we have to make things easier for ourselves and not harder for ourselves, man. You know, this truth isn't an easy thing. So we have to do everything within our power, you know, to make sure that we track in our course, you know, exactly according to how you how Bashmiao Shai want us to do things, man. You know, so... Hey, you know, with that quick segment, you know, uh, brothers, don't feed the demons, but continue to feed the spirit and continue to stay in the spirit, man, you know? So with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the out there, doing this work of faith and labor of love and true sincerity. Shalom.